Voice is an innovative grants facility that supports the most marginalized and discriminated people in 10 countries in Africa and Asia, aiming at amplifying and connecting the unheard voices with the principle of leaving no one behind. After five years of voice implementation in Uganda, we wish to take you on a journey to show the footprints of rights holders and grantees in addressing abuse, marginalization and discrimination of the less fortunate members of society. Voice has worked with persons living with disability who are prevented from living to their full potential because of physical, mental, visual and hearing impairments. Through the albinism umbrella, Voice has empowered persons with albinism, discriminated and marginalized because of their physical appearance, to attain education, fight stigma and kidnap for ritual sacrifices and gain employment. We are a voice for persons with albinism through advocating for our human rights and ensuring that we get our full potential. I know what it means by a person living and living. And um, what I had gone through, I don't want any other person to go it through. So we need to create awareness to everyone. Just admit that you are the one with the problem, then you look for possible ways of solving the problem. Voice is supporting visually impaired vulnerable women through Arua District Blind Women Association to attain self-help and economic empowerment. Our women with disabilities have been suffering at homes. For example, when they are sick, they find it so challenging to access home facilities. But now they've gotten to know that it's a right that anybody with disability has got a right to access any home facility, any uh, social services. Rachel does. Um, within the community, at times you are trying to change the face of the, the, the world, you are trying to, to change the community, um, their attitude, but people are saying, yee, yee. you mean they can also do this? At times you also feel discouraged. I have one hand, but I do everything. People outside with the disabilities, let's not beg. We are able, and the motto says, disability does not mean inability, and that is true. Hmm? We should not just see going to the roadside and begging. Let's move ahead. The Uganda National Action for Physical Disability worked to improve access of sexual reproductive health care services among youth and women with disabilities through several advocacy efforts that resulted into several improvements in the lives of youth and women with disabilities. So when they gave me this, this project of, of voice, sexual and reproductive health rights, it was a very, very good eye-opener for me to go out to learn and then go out and teach others. First of all, myself, I learned that I have a right to sex, to marriage, to make a choice of a partner, and to have sex by choice, not by force. So, For me, before voice came, life was not good. There was a lot of suffering, and the situation was, was really bad. Life, when voice project came, they requested us to join, and now see, health has improved, and through hospitals, have been able to get help, and then health has has improved. When you go to the hospital, we have the confidence now. We can also speak. We can also try to sign, although they know some small sign language, but at least they can try. Communication at least has continued to come to the hospital. Access to education has often been a challenge among several youths in Uganda, particularly youths with disabilities resulting into low enrollment, high school dropouts due to unplanned pregnancies, poor primary school completion rates. Advocacy through music or amplifying the voices of persons living with autism through music, it has really done a great change. We have seen some participants living with autism they have really improved in their communication skills. They have learned how to socialize with one another since the project 
enables participants from their community to be part of us. So we socialize, we do different activities, and so we have seen a lot of change. We have also supported age-discriminated vulnerable groups through the Uganda Reach the Age Association and Help Age International. I had passed the interview, but they couldn't take me because they said I was old, I was an older person. That really touched my heart and I said, well, people can be discriminated because of their age. These partners with voice in implementing a two-year action research project understand and challenge ageism campaign to document the number of older persons facing discrimination and abuse with a view of informing policy and programming. Sorak Development Agency worked through the Teen to Teens project used community theater approaches to raise voices on sexual reproductive health and education, rights of the voiceless young girls and youth with disabilities in Mubende district. Uh, Voice supported SORAC uh, from 2018 to uh, 2020 in a project titled Teens to Teens. Twagenda nga to 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 mabega Sensitize Uganda took on the initiative to enhance secondary school students' civic participation through mock elections. The initiative empowered secondary school students with civic education as a tool to enhance their civic participation in the Uganda general elections in January 2021. We proposed for is that we wanted to enhance the civic participation of young people, especially the young people in secondary schools, to understand their civic responsibilities, to understand their civic rights when they are at a young age before some of them become of uh, the voting age. This experience taught me how to be very confident and very audible among a big sum of people. Sensitize Uganda was able to bring out the requirements needed for a voter to take participation in an election. And I endeavored that I had all the qualifications and requirements needed for the general election right before it started. Center for Constitutional Governance hosts a consortium on reclaiming and protecting civic space in Uganda and we work with the Corporate Institute of Uganda as well as the Human Rights network for journalists. We have many artists that have given interviews and, and uh, journalists as well as activists to the Civic Space TV on uh, the space itself as well as citizens' participation in their governance. We have many engagements, especially the webinars that we do, where they actively participate and act as influencers for our work so that other citizens can know about it. So the response has been positive. Their interventions have resulted into development of a civic space handbook to provide a one-stop information center for protection of HRDs in their work in a shrinking civic environment. Youth with disabilities often struggle to find employment after their training because most employers perceive them as non- or underproductive in comparison with non-disabled youths. Voice is working with several civil society organizations such as Fitch in uplifting the economic status of women in northern Uganda facing exploitation, abuse and violence. To overcome challenges of land conflict, poverty, poor health and low employment opportunities, Voice is building life skills, financial literacy, promoting land rights and supporting women through village saving and loan association to start and grow incomes. We want them empowered so that at the end of it all, they are self-reliant, they are not dependent. In Northern Uganda, Voice partnered with several grassroots organizations to uplift the social economic status of women in a society affected by the long protracted guerrilla war. At KSO, we are basically dealing with commercial sex workers. 
you're dealing with this category of people that are not used to settling in one place. I'm a bit you get give me what you need. Come out what you need and come here on in bed now. I ruin here. Piano book when you make game like gang money chani. Mono in chani take a nana ni. Book when you keep on book when you come up bed. Piano book when you know car much like a leg with chani. Me a chani piano you and you a chile again. You but chani and we out there in quick. Women Nutrition and Sanitation Program is one of the organizations that has partnered with Voice to empower women and girls in Lango sub-region. I had some piece of land I was buying and there was a balance remaining, so it is this group which helped me to pay the, the remaining balance. I saved some little money and I was able to start a house. And that house is on window level. We have also partnered with Platform for Labour Action to regulate the domestic work sector in Uganda and improve the lives of domestic workers facing extreme violation and abuse. The domestic workers sector is one of the three sectors which employ 50% of women in Uganda. And also when you look at Uganda as a country, uh, there is a growing number of women joining both the formal and informal employment. That means that the role played traditionally by women in, at a household level is left for the domestic workers to fill in the gaps. I've learned the rights, my responsibilities as a domestic worker, which in the first place I didn't know about. I have a right to food, I have a right to my salary, a right to talk about a contract before working for someone. Quarrying a Urusi, Bakama, a fear of Funya Bosibo, Gata Gabanga, Funyaze Sente, Gataxa Sude, Toina, Zaku Dukida, Bakuyambi. Never had to get his anger yet for a hint, Tibarina, Baroya, Vainzak to Yamabo Gated. Gaffa domestic workers to twin the Sente Zura Roya. Catin to the Bafang, a Chituyan, they knew. Catin Korachi, the Twiga. Poverty at household level among women and youth is driven by limited access to productive resources such as land, unemployment and lack of skills. Global Rights Alert has implemented interventions to empower women and youth in the extractive industry to participate in decision-making and improve their working conditions which are often characterized by exploitation. For us as women, we have actually benefited from this mining, but uh, we have some problems there. But uh, we have not uh, been having a pits. We have been using, uh, okay, we have been buying sand and we put it somewhere and then we, we after making it, then we get some gold and we sell it some to, to, to other people. But now, as women, we said, why can't we form an association and then we, we, after forming our association and then we get our own pit and then we start making our own money. When we see our global rights, we have a seminar in our country, so we have to have a seminar in our country. GRA, together with Cisco and Publish What You Pay, have also organized civil society, miners and other actors to amplify their voices in the EITI implementation which promotes open and accountable management of oils, gas and mineral resources. Women's empowerment cannot be fully attained without political empowerment. Whereas Uganda has made progress in increasing women's political representation, there are capacity gaps that affect their effectiveness. We implemented a program in three districts and uh, our targets are women uh, in leadership, but also women at different local level like VSLA groups, women at different uh, leadership positions. What has happened with the voice project, which is very unique to us, is we use a strategy that has really been uncommon, that is mentorship and coaching of women, and also caucusing at local level. Our target are women counselors, so what we did is train them in caucusing, because you understand their level of illiteracy, we have a problem with women uh, level of education and that has affected women participation at leadership level. We have seen men 
being able to appreciate women. We have seen men being able to to respond to the needs of their families. And we've also seen men being able to support their women to join political leadership. Uh, as a result of the trainings that we conducted in the past year, uh, we had four women who contested with men for the position of LC3, and they were able to go through because they mobilized fellow women to support for the female candidate. Led by Legal Aid Service Providers Network, LASPnet, and Strategic Link, voice linking and learning has created a set of activities and platforms that bring together grantees to enhance work and productivity, allow for self-reflection, learning or unlearning some aspects to become better and to connect with each other and share and learn from each other. What I've learned from here, honestly speaking, you know, you have put everyone in front. I didn't know that when we are united, there is nothing for us without us. Because all of us were united and never heard of this general transgender. But because of at least uh, freedom of speech, we brought all of them together to us and we have interacted with them. I would love particularly that we be trained more in documentation. Because I feel like we are doing so much work. But we are not bringing it out to show the real changes that we are making in our lives, in the lives of the, of the right holders. And that needs to be um, showcased so that at the end of the day, uh, we can see those changes in real life time, but also see impact for projects that have already uh, shown some little bit of impact. Whereas our journey has been characterized by rapids and falls, we are proud of what we have attained thus far. We are continuing to give a voice to the voiceless in our efforts to leave no one behind.